Alright, what's good YouTube? Your boy Bizzer's back. Yes! For another Trails in the Skies. Second chapter. That's right, we're second chapter wise. Ooh, what about Agatha? Oh, is Agatha alright? I hope he is. Well, we got a little lowly taking care of him. I'm pretty sure you'll be alright. Oh yeah. Whoa, look at the construction here. So they really started construction this early, huh? Good. Get them repairs, you know what I'm saying? Oof. Wow, this place was wrecked. Look at that. That's crazy. Anyways, let me take these quartz off. I don't think... Um, again, right? I think one of you spoiled me that uh, Olivia is leaving the party. Yeah. Well, you shouldn't. The thing is, I wanna, I wanna avoid spoilers as much as possible. So, if any of you are gonna make a spoiler, please put the spoiler warning and make sure you have space in between your spoiler warning and your spoilers, so I don't get spoiled. I try to look the way, but uh, you know what? I'm pretty sure when people leave your party, you automatically leave like the course gets removed, anyways. So does that does that even matter? If I take the course out, uh, whatever. Anyways, yeah, last part was so the feels, man. I can feel like the feels, and I try to hold them all, but it's hard to hold them all, you know. It was crazy. Cause Agate, Agate was such a... It was so unexpected from Agate that he was loathing himself, you know? There's definitely a lot we don't know about him. He seems to be projecting a lot of his own self-loathing to others, too. And it's kind of true how, you know, Luvan said that uh, he couldn't reach enlightenment. Because he's still, he's still like very arrogant. He still has his own ego about him, him and his own goals. You know, his goals of um, trying to redeem himself through all this. I think that's why. And yeah, some deep stuff, man. But uh, I, I hope he's all right. I hope, I, I think that you know, having Tita here actually helps him a lot more than without having Tita here. Because Tita really helps him, you know, become more mindful of his own emotions and become more mindful of of his own actions on others, you know. Sometimes he can't even see that he's uh, hurting others, you know, like how he's very rash and then he, like talks shit with people, but then he's not really that kind of person. It's, it's just his own self-loathing, you know. But anyways, enough of that. Let's get to good stuff. Like my wife. Hello there. Hi, man, my belly. Oh, this might be a shorter, shorter part today. I'm kind of busy later on for the day. Got some real life stuff to do, so let's make this quick. Wow, looks like they've already started working. Yes, thanks to the aid of the uh, tree. We've been able to start construction a lot sooner than expected. I've also sent all the aid I can muster at Ra to Ravenue. I mean. It seems we've finally gotten past the worst of it all. It's good that things are settling down at least. So, um, how's, um, Lila? Lila's... Lila's... Lila has, hasn't changed since yesterday. The only thing we can do is wait for the medicine to take effect and pray, really. Oh, oh, sorry. Not at all. Simply fading by her bedside won't fix anything. For the moment, I'm of the opinion of that. The best thing I can do is f to fulfill my duty as a mayor. After all, Lila would be quite put out with me if she knew I was wasting time worrying about her. Yeah, she definitely would. We'll do what we can to. It's all in your hands, good luck. 
we will send some guards at once. Until we succeed in capturing the dragon, we're in charge of security and boats. If you run into any problems, contact us immediately. Right. Capturing the dragon is going to be a massive operation. If I remember the third, ma uh, involving the majority of the air force, apparently, it's going to take us nearly the border. So we have to be careful to not violate airborne territory. Even with them non aggression pack in place, I can't help but think that the Aeroponians would be furious if we cross the border. Yeah, that dragon is big. A little too big. I don't even think even the airships has a, has a chance. I'm not even sure if the army has a chance. <laughs> Judging from our encounter with, uh, with the dragon and uh, Morgan. <sighs> I really like to get to know the lady who runs the Castellas shop. Right now, she's running her shop with her fiance. I think they'll go back to separate stands once the market opens, but then again, they might not. Maybe I should help up with the reconstruction. Wowzies! They already studying work. Maybe I should go help too. If you wanna help, why not just stay here? Huh? Wait. So you don't get in their way. Ooh. Good girl. Teach him some discipline. A discipline goes a long way. From all the appearances, that was indeed the dragon of old. <laughs> Something still feels wrong, though. According to the ancient legend, dragons are supposed to be gentle and intelligent. But the dragon we've seen brazenly attack a city and put orchards to the flame. Legends are never 100% reality, but there's all usually at least a kernel of truth to them. Why would our dragon be so different from the ones in the legends? Yeah, it's the work of the gospel, most likely. Ah, I see. So the chandeliers originally of Erebonian make. And then the family modified to use the orbital lights after those become popular. Just as you say. It is one of the exceptional pieces left behind by the previous mayor. It is as you see. It is as you see. Let's change up Zin. We haven't played Zin for a long time. My boy Zin needs some. Uh, actually, how do I configure? I can't just talk to him now, can I? No, he's right over here. So if I go upstairs, just nothing, nothing happens. Right? Yeah. Formation, maybe tactics. Party order. That's not it. All right. It's just so weird having Zinn as an NPC, you know? He's just following us. Welcome, guys. After a night, I'm finally calm again. Right now, he and I are working together to get through this. What? Whoa, oh, you're the shop? The reconstruction works began, but it will be a while before his bank open for business. Anyway, right now we need to keep up the business and not lose our customers. Still, maybe because we changed the locations, we're not getting as many customers. Katarina was worried that this one repeat guy customer who came every day might not return. After what happened, I doubt it. Man, the Castilla shop really popped. Thanks to that, no one's been ordering our food. Yeah, <sighs> well, I suppose it's just helping out. What if we had these before? Maybe we should try these. Okay. Oh, we had it before. Fling Tom Stew. Okay. 
Am I missing anything? I don't know. <clears throat> Already started work. Have, have they? They belly must be working as hard as anyone. The way she's handling all this, her father would be proud. We already started repeating the Mackie. We can just hang out and bother the folks in the hotel forever after all. I left the store to trade on and came out to lend a hand. Now oh, look at that. All these pieces. That's the roof, right? Septium Church. I came to pray while I was on out shopping. Specifically for Lila to wake up soon. <sighs> I hope my prayers reach the goddess. I hope so too. Unfortunately, the maid from the mayor's household still hasn't regained consciousness. I treated her with every medicine I know, but to no ever. Oh, we can do is to wait for good news for the sister in attendance. All right. We are rather on the clock on this one, Estelle. Once we picked up anything we need, we really should to get to the landing port. Oh, we're supposed to go to the landing port now, right? International landing port. Actually, I'll, I'll talk to everyone first. Let's see how everyone's doing. After the incident, after uh, the whole dragon thing. The press seems really shaken by these dragon maids too. This really has to be a big deal. If they are sending out so much of the air force. Yeah, it is a big deal. It's a super big deal. What happened to the man? What happened to the market? I think that's how his voice was, right? I just go- Oh my god, I keep messing it up. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> I just got back, so I'm completely lost on what's going on, I'm afraid. I honestly can't believe it. Kuwano doesn't know what happened. That's what I get for thinking he came back because he was worried about me. Can't read the book, huh? Oh, nice balcony. Oh, that's not a balcony. What is this? Ouch, the injury I got during the mecha takes to spots. Honestly, I should be thankful I got away with only these. But what am I supposed to do? It hurts. Repair work started on the market just this morning. May or may belly is something else. She is a spitfire like no other. Nothing holds her back. I had better learn a thing or two from her example myself and get back to business. If I let myself get distracted, oh Borden might just pull everything out from under me. Everyone seems to be pretty upset, but at the same time pretty thankful that no one's really hurt. My husband's working with the Borden to save the market. In the face of a crisis, we can work with even our worst rivals. Now this is the strength of Bo's merchants. Yeah, your, your enemy is your friend, sometimes. I've worked with Borden, Borden to get the repair start. We could only get together enough materials for the moment so they'll run out soon we need to arrange for more materials soon materials huh? sounds like a side quest we rather on the clock okay you, you said that already i know i'm just gonna check around who's this hmm This guy have a guild emblem? Hello, Sting. It's been quite a while. Sting, who's this? Sherazor. From the sound of it, you led the rescue effort at the market the other day. Thanks. Sorry I wasn't there. No, it really just a part of my job. 
I'll take care of all the small stuff. It's on you to take care of that dragon. Sting, huh? This guy looks pretty badass. He doesn't have a portrait. I wonder if we'll see him in the third or later in the game. It's on to you to take care of the dragon, right? Sting. Bennis. Those poor folks from the market are working out the hotel and bar now. They apparently agreed to keep going thanks to a request from Mary Belly. She can work miracles when she needs to. Thanks to that, things are still pretty normal for most folks. At least when it comes to necessities. Talk about necessities. Do we have something for Zin? That's 290, right? That's 290. What do we have here? What are we working with here, boys? What are we working with? 300, alright. That, that means we're not doing anything. And by the way, yeah. As I said before, today might be a shorter part. Because I have to go soon. I have some real life stuff to do. So, most likely, we're gonna end it in about 10 or 20 minutes, maybe. Let's see, what is this, what is this, what is this, what is this? Federbrooch. I think I got everything. Alright, let's just go. You know what? I think I talked to everybody. Let's go to the airport, then. It wasn't that way, huh? It's right over to the north. That's the east. This is the north. And if I if I do miss anything, I'll just you know. I can always just load what back one of the saves. You guys are the breezes they was told about, right? The enemy airship. You be a boarding. We'll be docking soon. You are to go meet it at the dock one. Do the right. Dark one, huh? Wow! Look at the view of this place! It's huge! Hmm, looks like the military ship hasn't arrived yet. We should have enough time to visit the merchants if we need anything. What do you want to do, Estelle? Uh, I don't think there's anything I want. Let's go. Let's go ahead and wait for the ship to arrive. So the airship that's gonna pick us up is gonna be one of those big reinforced army ones, right? Yes, one of our gorge airships. They make up most of our army military airships. So I did imagine that's what we do be we'll be on. The typical Royal Army Guard airship is usually well-rounded, strong firepower and large low capacity, and good mobility. Though that's what I know from 10 years ago. They've been upgraded some since their initial deployment, correct? Yes, in addition to giving them better armor and engines and such, we have specialized ships by varying their equipment. Patrol craft, scout craft, attack craft. Wow. Ships can do all that? Damn. That's one hell of a ship, boys. The principle, at least I understand it, is to ensure the squadrons are flexible by giving each one mission specific equipment. Just what I'd expect from the country that invented airship warfare. We, all, uh, we have airship squadrons in Calvary, but they're nothing more than snowboards. Really, showboats. <sighs> the Empire is a little different. We use airship squadrons, but the Empire's strength has always led Leanne in its cavalry divisions. Our tanks in this age. Tanks, huh? Attention, please. 
A Royal Army vessel will be landing at Port 1 momentarily. All non-affiliated personnel, please refrain from entering Port 1. Hey, here we are! Ooh, the airship, what is this? Uh, huh? I don't think I've heard the engine sound before. Oh my, that's... Is that the new engine? Ah! Uh. Ooh, wait, is that the Orsay? 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 What is that? Whoa, what, what, what was it so spiky at the bottom? Damn! We in it now, boys. All aboard. <laughs> so, we're gonna be riding the Arsail. Julia didn't mention this all when I spoke with her last night. Yo, Estelle. Who's this? Hi, everybody. Long time no see. Who is it? Oh, now. Dorothy. What? Is that? <laughs> we seem to have a habit of meeting in the strangest damn places. Esther, everyone, it's so great to see you again. What? Why are not now and Dorothy on the RCV? Allow me to explain. Ship works. My girl. Julia! Julia, you awful tease. Why didn't you tell me last night that you did come in, in the RC? <laughs> I get to have my fun with surprises sometimes, my princess. My apologies if I startled you. Oh, Julia. I take it that if you're using the RC, it's part of grandmother's plan. Just so. Ah! Uh. What's Her Majesty got to do with this? If the famous, cutting-edge Arsene gets involved, those living in fear of dragon may have their concerns eased. I believe that is her thinking. Oh, good idea. Ah, Queen Alicia continues to impress. The reporters are, I assume, along for the very same reason? Yeah, pretty much. The whole damn country is losing it over this dragon thing. Looks like they are hoping us, hoping us humble reporters can produce a little something to calm the masses. Mr. Burns, remember. I know, I know. I won't give away any state secrets. I am going to poke, be poking my head around some extent though. I ain't writing straight propaganda here. As you wish. Hmm. Uh, on time for that once, I see. Who's this? Oh, I thought that was Cassius. Never mind. Give him a different voice again. Damn. General Morgan. General, allow me to express our thanks for allowing us aboard. Well, Her Majesty's opinion helped. Let me clear on this front so there's no misunderstanding. You bracers are nothing more than observers on this mission. All you will be allowed to do is to watch as we execute the plan. I'm fine with that. If the army can settle things, I'm sure what I won't complain. I look forward to seeing what we can do, General. Hmm, very well. Your Highness, please, this way. We shall complete you to the bridge. But... We cannot allow the princess to board as a mere passenger to her own airship. It would, affect, it would affect the crew's morale, your highness. Very well. Oh. Princess. Princess Claudia. Well, he's as icy as always. I wish that he did just accept that us dummy, silly bracers are, you know, Something approaching. Competent. <laughs> the general is a hard-headed, old-school sort of man. I doubt he'll ever change his opinions quickly. Allow me to lead you aboard the ship. And on that note, allow me to finally welcome you properly. 
as allies and friends of long standing. Welcome aboard, dear sailor, flagship of the Royal Guard and Liberal. Ooh, a new airship action. Let's go. Onwards, boys. Onwards. Doom, doom, doom. Saw that? Amazing. Damn, too late. I knew it. Oh, there it comes. We should have headed out a bit earlier. Ah, well, we'll leave the dragon watching to the rest of the gang. Yeah, but, but, oh, I wanted to ride the RCL. Come on, short stuff. There's more to life than gawking uh, at machines. There's so much to see. An engine room with eight of the new model engines. A new generation, a next generation bridge with all the best information processing equipment. It'd be a dream. Uh, for the... Your eyes lit up like candles. Hehe. <laughs> about Star Iron? What do we do now? Good question. Well, first off, I'm gonna need a new gray sword. If I want to keep being the heavy blade. Alright. Yeah, I guess you can't really repair a sword that's broken that badly. It's cut in half, huh? Yeah, gonna have to buy a new one. Let's go order one at the weapon store in the south block. I get. Oh. Yo, Ted. You're the receptionist here, aren't you? Uh, looks like they used to be kicking time. I can try to raise the RCL on the radio if you want. Nah, that's okay. So you came out just to see if I did caught the fight, right? That too, boo. We actually caught a rush delivery on the flight last night. With your name on it, I just found it. A rush delivery for me? Yeah, it's one package. Return address says Russo. What? From Grandpa? Grandpa. Ooh, high speed flight, boys. Wow, we got three ships. We're really chasing the dragon, huh? Full speed. It looks like they're signaling something. Look at that. Look at this airship. Looks amazing. Well, Dent, allow me to explain Operation Dragon Capture. This operation will be conducted primarily by the airship force. Our grand div well, ground divisions will focus solely on keeping order in all regions during the operation. Wait, all the regions? So we're gonna be we're going beyond post for this. Possibly. Not by our choice. Last night's events show that the dragon's capacity for flight is significant. It is very possible that it will move to another region at some point. Yeah, good point. The plan shall involve twelve airships in total, including the RCL. Which is to say that it involves two fifths of our Entire fleet. The rest will be held in reserve. Two fifths of the entire fleet? That's enough power to. Sort of war? Enough power to give our friend a quiet reception, huh? Julia. Sir. Ooh, oral panel. Wow. This is the map of the mission plan? Yes, precisely. The Orsail is currently cruise cruising in the Bose airship space. We shall be using the Orsail as the flagship and command vessel for this operation. The actual Dragon Patrol shall be carried out by eight patrol ships equipped with wide area radar. Whoa! Damn! Now we're serious. This is a national threat after all, huh? 
If the dragon so much as raises his head above the tree line, they will be able to find it. Then, once the dragon is found, the ships will give chase at high speed and uses their rapid fire artillery to check the dragon and guide it over the Lake Fialeria. At the same time, several patrol vessels armed with tranquilizer rounds will be scrambled from Lyston Fortress. Once the dragon is pinned, they will intercept it. They will fire every tranquilizer round they have and sink this creature. You think it will work? Have we seen this, like these kind of creatures at all in the past? Dragons are, are uh, some somewhat of a legend, right? I don't know. Well, I've got to try something. Death is the plan in full. Um, wow. Well, this is certainly a bit larger scale than most skill operations. If the tranquilizers don't work, I'm guessing you switch to live emulation, right? Yes. In that case, we will have to destroy the dragon with concentrated fire from all ships. Her Majesty has asked us to prioritize capture over destruction, but we are ready for every con contingency. Huh? Why would Queen Alicia want the dragon alive? Dragons are creatures of myth, oldest legends. She said she could not bear to have it slain. I can understand that, especially since the dragon is under society's control. Yeah, good point. Wait, that's right. The Dead Lords, uh, Leonhardt, or whoever it is, guy, he had a gospel, that me. Yes, the orb will shut down phenomena. According to Professor Russo, the maximum range of the effect is roughly 5 arch. All ships have orders have orders to get no closer than 10 arch to the dragon. As long as we do that, there should be no problem. That should work, hopefully. Most impressive, General. You do seem prepared for everything. Hmm. We learned quite a bit from 100 days war. And should this plan somehow fail entirely, we will be left wanting for options. Should that come to pass, we will be relying on you. It's nice of you to say that, but, uh... Why do I get the impression that you think this plan is foolproof and invincible? Uh, of course. If this plan has a problem, it's that we have to wait for the dragon to show his face. Well, that's the question. What do we do if the dragon doesn't show up? Given how all boars have behaved up to this point, I find it unlikely that they'll keep it hidden. They'll want to use the dragon to do something. They probably will, won't they? Well then, Bracers, once we found the dragon, we will come announce it over the calm. Until then, please, make yourselves home. Wow, airship. Ooh. Anyways, okay, so I think I'm gonna stop this here. This is a short part for today, because I gotta go soon. Anyways, um, thank you very much for watching. Wow, look at this ship. It looks so advanced. I like I like the blues. The blue light over here. What is this button there? I don't know. Anyways, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to give me a like. I also do a lot of uh, side quest videos in my channel, so if you check it out, you pretty much enjoy it. Stay subscribed for more. And see you in the next part. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's about eight buttons here. What if I press this one?